Back to you. Thanks, Damian. And Gainesville is buzzing today with sports news. WFT sports anchor Stephanie Jones joins us now with a preview of what's to come. Thanks, Carolyn. We'll hear from defensive coordinator Dan Quinn on what he expects to see from the South Carolina offense this weekend. We'll also take a look at Major League Baseball playoffs. All that and more coming up next. Welcome back, I'm Stephanie Jones coming right straight at you through the magic of television with the latest in sports. The Gamecocks make a pit stop in Gainesville this weekend. After being ranked second in the BCS standings, the Gators have one of the most frightening defenses in the nation. And the Gator D should feel right at home on Saturday when they face an offense similar to Florida's. You know, they've certainly got some speed outside, you know, at receiver. And, uh, you know, that's probably one of the things that jumps out, you know, to you on tape is they've got, you know, good team speed outside. Uh, they've got a really physical tight end who, who can block at the end of the line. Kickoff is at 3.30 on CBS. Gator basketball is in full swing now after the first official day of practice last Friday. The USA Today coaches preseason poll came out today and Florida is ranked 10th. Indiana took the first place spot, Kentucky is 3rd and Missouri is 17th. Florida guard Kenny Boynton says he tries not to focus on the numbers. You know, so it's, it's a good, you know, um, number, you know, to have before the season, but, you know, it's a long season and, uh, you know, the numbers will switch. So we definitely can't, you know, let that, you know, go to our head or anything because uh, I know previous years we started off at 11 and, you know, that dropped. So definitely just got to play one game at a time. Florida opens its season against Georgetown November 9th in Jacksonville. And the topping out ceremony for an O-Dome renovation project took place this afternoon at the O'Connell Center. The $4 million project added almost 7,000 square feet to the north side, which houses gymnastics. Some of the upgrades include high-definition video recorders and monitors at each workout station, plus cardio exercise equipment within the studio space. The Florida gymnastics team thinks that these renovations will be extremely beneficial to their team. I'm seeing how much time and effort has been put into this gym and just how much they care for this sport and how much effort is put into it. It's going to make a huge difference. The facility will be completely renovated and ready to use this December. And today in Major League Baseball, the Giants are playing the Cardinals in Game 3 of the National League Championship Series in St. Louis. The best of seven series is tied up 1-1 at the moment. Giants second baseman Marco Scudero is playing. He was questionable after being slide tackled by Matt Holliday two days ago. Currently, the cards are up 2-1 in Bush Stadium. And the Yankees and Tigers are back in action again tonight in Detroit. The Tigers won last night's game 2-1 thanks to pitcher Justin Verlander. Delman Young steps up to bat for the Tigers and rips one to left field. He comes around the bases to put the Tigers up 1-0 in the bottom of the fourth. Next, in the bottom of the fifth, Triple Crown winner Miguel Cabrera doubles to right center, scoring Quinton Berry to make the score 2-zip. The only bright spot for the Yankees last night was this homer from Eduardo Nunez. Lance Armstrong has stepped down as chairman of his Livestrong charity, and he's out of his Nike contract. Armstrong announced this morning he's leaving his position so the charity can focus on its mission. Minutes later, Nike announced it's dropping its contract with Armstrong, saying he misled the company for a decade about doping. The U.S. Anti-Doping Agency released a report last week highlighting allegations of doping by Armstrong when he won the Tour de France seven consecutive times. Armstrong denies the allegations. You know, Stephanie, I always look forward to baseball season, and I hear that we might have a little preview of that coming up. Yeah, you know, college baseball doesn't start until the spring, but um, on Friday they're actually going to have an open scrimmage for fans. The public is welcome. It's going to be a six-inning scrimmage, and it starts at 445 at McKeithen Stadium. Awesome. Thanks, Stephanie. More news after the break.